Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video, another service call. Today we got an interesting one. Um, I wasn't able to record the troubleshooting part of this forklift because when you're troubleshooting something, uh, especially when it's kind of stressful, you know, you, you kind of want to focus 100% on that. You don't, you know, you don't want to set up cameras and all that stuff. And, you know, uh, especially when the customer is watching you as well. Um, so the story behind this forklift, this is an 8 series, an FG40, uh, something like that. It's a 8,000 pound dual fuel uh, Toyota. And the problem that it had was this guy, my customer, bought it from an auction. And, you know, when you buy a forklift from an auction, you never know where you're going to get. Um, I've never bought a forklift from an auction, so I don't, I don't really know how that works, but uh, I don't know if they tell you like, hey, it's got this problem and you buy it either way, but it's an expensive unit. He got it for like half the price. So I'm assuming that's why he bought it and maybe wanted to invest money into it. So it had no spark. It wouldn't, um, wouldn't start. It would crank, but no start. And that's pretty much it. Nothing else worked. No hydraulics, nothing. So, um, so I got to the forklift and I quickly realized it had no spark because, you know, it has coil on plugs. It doesn't have a distributor. It's all commanded by the ECU or the ECM. And so there's a, there's red cables. There's, there's like three or four cables that go into the actual, uh, coil connectors. There's four of them. And there's a red one, a white one, a black one. And I think like a brown one. Um, I'll show you guys when, when I get there. And so the red cable didn't have any power and that's what commands um the spark plugs or the coils and that red cable goes all the way to the ecu and there was continuity which every with i checked every single one continuity all the way to the ecu and they all had continuity so no broken wires there's only one thing left to do and that's to replace the ecu and and go from there so i did put the ecu in or the yeah engine control module the ecm and and then now it starts it started it worked great but it had more problems. It wouldn't accelerate. Um, it's got the seat switch wouldn't go away and it's got a wrench light. And the uh, the forks would raise, but they wouldn't lower and nothing else pretty much worked. So, um, you know, I started troubleshooting and troubleshooting and I realized that it would blow a 10 amp fuse. It was the SAS 10 amp ignition fuse and so I followed that cable that goes to that 10 amp and it went all the way to the SAS uh, material handling um, controller. So if you know where your levers are, your up and down lever, your tilt levers, right underneath those levers, there's a controller in there, a gray box. That's your SAS controller. Um, so uh, what I did was I removed the SAS controller harness and I plugged that fuse back in I turn the key switch on and it wouldn't blow the fuse. I would plug it back into that to that controller. I turn the ignition on and it would blow the fuse. So obviously it's got an internal internal fault or a short uh, in the actual controller that was causing it to blow that fuse. And I took that controller apart and I didn't find anything wrong. So I didn't see any burned uh, diodes or resistors or anything like that. I didn't see any. Um, solderings that were burned or anything like that so i don't know that's stuff that just happens I, I don't really know how ecus work or ecms work i don't repair them so i ordered one and uh in about 10 days it came in i put it in and boom it started working perfectly i put that fuse back on it wouldn't blow the fuse anymore everything works great accelerates but it's missing a few things so uh, i'm going to show you guys here in a second when we get there it's about an hour drive to LaBelle and I'll show you guys uh, how I troubleshooted it, kind of show you guys where to look if you ever run into a similar problem and uh, we got a couple other things to do and yeah, thank you guys, uh, follow along and and uh, yeah, enjoy. Alright guys, this is the, uh, the forklift here and uh, I'll go over what the issues were so this is a AFG 45U so this Toyota engine is uh, 
JTI EB03, the 3.6 liter. And you see it's got coils. Now you see that little red, this cable right here, goes all the way down to the ECU here. And that's the one that replaced. Okay, show you guys here. This is the bad SAS controller, and this was the bad CPU. So, once I got this running, the engine running, it would blow uh, this fuse right here. Right there, this, number, this 10 amp fuse right there, which is that one, ECU ignition 10 amp, right there. And so if you take this apart, take this apart, and you look under here where these cables go out of, it's like a big uh, yellow cable. And you follow this, boom, 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 boom. And it leads right to your SAS controller. And that's the new one. Okay, it's like one of these yellow cables there. Yep, so I took this plug out right here, put that fuse back on, and it wouldn't it wouldn't blow or it would blow the fuse on. Or once I disconnected that, put the fuse back on, it wouldn't blow the fuse. But if I connected that, it would blow the fuse. So here's the old one. That's the old one. And that's the new one. So we turn it on now. It does have a check engine light, 67-1. Uh, and we also have to fix this here. This is broken. And here's the new one. That's the part number. Here are the nuts. So let's take care of that. We'll put all that stuff back on here and get this thing running.
power cutting out. I forgot to put it on the threads. Beforehand, so bear with me here. Alright, so it's code 671. See it right there, 671. It's your height limit switch. And you can see here, you can see in there, it's busted up. That's for this lever here. We're gonna fix that and. Uh, gonna fix that and everything should be good to go but uh, everything's back on all the plastic pieces are on floorboards on everything's good to go we're gonna fix that code and reset the computer and we'll be good to go all right guys there it is all done good to go thank you guys for watching hey guys thank you so much for watching um, please hit that subscribe button we're almost at 2,000 subscribers um, really appreciate the support thank you guys for following along please like comment on anything you want to see uh, moving forward I got a lot of awesome projects coming up pretty soon including a, a full engine swap on the Toyota forklift so uh, stay tuned for that and thank you all for the support God bless